This is the information takeoff layout. The purpose of information takeoff, ITO, is to capture information from the BIM file to be used for many purposes. There's a collection of predefined ITOs, but you can also make information takeoffs on the fly. Here we have the model tree, the classification view, where we can define classes of model elements, the selection basket, the info view, the 3D view, and the information takeoff view where the actual takeoffs are done. Let's take a look at an example of ITO. First, we need to make sure that we have the classifications we need for our purposes. Let's add one classification. Depending on your role, you may choose the classifications you need. Let's select the building elements classification for this example. When we examine the results, we can see that it's now classified based on certain specific criteria. These are typically set up in the classification settings. So, depending on what kind of components we are dealing with, you may set up different filters or rules. For example, we can see that walls of a certain type belong to the exterior walls class. In this case, walls that include the word exterior are defined and classified as exterior walls. This is then applied when we are running the information takeoff. Let's look at one ITO that is predefined. Once again, you get a list that is based on your role. This time, we'll look at building element quantities. When selecting an ITO, the to-do list may appear, indicating that specific tasks should be completed before proceeding. The columns that appear here correspond to the properties we are interested in taking off from this model. Once we have everything loaded, we can run Take Off All, capturing the information of the entire model. You can see that color codes are used to group the components, in this case by their type. We can also see that in this example, the properties we are interested in taking off are building element, type, net area, length, volume, and count. If we want to see just a few of these components at once, we can easily do this by highlighting their rows. Information takeoffs can also be reported. Reports are done here. In this case, we'll use Excel template reports. We have pre-built and formatted templates for several ITO definitions that come with the system. Of course, if you create your own quantity takeoff de definitions, you can also create your own templates as well. And of course, these templates can be modified. Now save the report. So here's our example. Once again, you'll see a note saying that certain rule sets need to be checked and reviewed for major issues. This is just a reminder that you may still have some problems with the quantities. If you noticed, we use take off all for collecting information from the whole model. It's also possible to take off just part of the model. In the model tree, we can select just the first floor, for example, and hit the equal sign to move that selection to the selection basket. Then, instead of choosing Take Off All, we'll switch to Take Off Selected. You can also modify this ITO definition by adding a new column. Let's include a floor column, and then we'll move the floor column so that it's the first column on the left. Now, if we take off all, we can see components divided by floors. Here, for example, we can highlight the components that are found on just the ground floor.